Well, we have here a standard coupler. We have here a swivel coupler. So, I've already loosened the bolts up. And I have already loosened the bolts up. So, we'll go ahead and finish removing these. Back the tongue out. Install this right here, which uh, gives us a new set of chains. So that was kind of cool. I mean, I had a set already, but you know, they sent me out a complete list or a complete new set of chains. So that was nice. And then all we got to do, because there's four bolts here, this will replace the back one, and then this goes here in the front, and then these four bolts here go in place on the bar side so it'll be a little bit longer as a uh, tongue but that's okay so we'll get to that and I'll uh, show you how it looks on the way well just like most things involving in this trailer there is a, a wrinkle the bar is hollow so the wiring harness that is required for the trailer to be road legal and safe going down the road and lit can pass through it. The swivel hitch is not, and the bar is solid on all sections except for the hole where it was drilled to be mounted right there. So there is nothing to allow the wiring harness to pass through the solid swivel coupler as it was designed. Interesting. This will take a little bit more pondering.